Well, we're here. It's uh, Saturday afternoon now, about uh, almost five o'clock. Um, we got here to the uh, Twin Lakes um, Catfish Farm RV Park, and uh, I'll show it to you here in a second. And got the son and our granddaughter over. We've been having dinner. So, but uh, well, let me show you this part. So here you go. Like I said, it's a catfish farm. They do tournaments out here. Um, have big old uh, fireworks shows out here. You've got their own people that do it that are licensed. Um, yeah, it's just a really scenic place. Uh, a lot of people fishing here all the time. They got ponds set up for that. And then, of course, there's the park. You know, actually, I think we got the last spot when we got here, so that was uh, interesting to find out. And not too bad. Uh, I got the five dollar um, veterans discount, so Parker ended up running me twenty five dollars. Anyway, not a not a bad one if you're in this area. See, there's Kim. She loves being on these videos. Not. And there is YouTuber CK. <laughs> Granddaughter and son, oldest one. You can tell he looks a lot lot older than all the others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's basically two feet in the grave already gone. Yeah. So but anyway, we just finished a meal and sitting around enjoying. So right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Bye. Hey everybody. Uh, it's uh, Sunday, April 19th. Uh, it's about 6 a.m. Uh, actually, that's the rig back there behind me um, on uh, your right. Um, so we're at the uh, Twin Lakes uh, Catfish Farm and Park. Um, I'm going to show it to you a little bit more now in the morning. This place was <laughs> real busy last night. Apparently, it's, it's every night. People out here fishing. Um, and what's cool is the uh, the bobbers they were using, you know, they all uh, have lights in them, LEDs or something, different colors and all that for different people, I guess. But uh, it was pretty cool seeing people here doing all of that. They were just fishing their hearts out. So, but uh, anyway, we're gonna. Uh, this it's actually been a good stay. It's a nice little park, and uh, and it's the only one around. So. Um, they could have been higher and gotten away with it. Anyway, we're going to head over to uh, my son's this morning and uh, about 9 a.m. and have breakfast with them. Um, we didn't get to see Kelly yesterday because she had some photo shoots to do. So, uh, um, you know, stop and see her, spend a little time over there, and then we're going to hit the road. Uh, I have no idea right this moment. Um, uh, where we're going to try to reach for today um, all i know is i would like to at least get through knoxville and uh, from that point who knows because after that other than Asheville, north carolina there's not a whole lot i mean you got a lot of forestry mountains it's beautiful but it's pretty barren and uh, uh, like new mexico with trees <laughs> you know so um, anyway We'll figure something out this morning and we'll take a look at the uh, at the apps and the maps and see uh, kind of get an idea as to where we're gonna we're probably i'm sure we're gonna boondock we're gonna stay at a cracker barrel or a walmart or something tonight and uh or the next couple of nights uh, before we <coughs> get to fort bragg so anyway that's it for now and uh, let me uh, turn this thing around and show you the uh at least part of the park, the pond and everything, where everybody was at last night. I'm going to show you that, so stand by. Okay, this is more of a close-up of it. That's the office and the restaurant and all that over there. And uh, they were all around this pond, walking around it. And the, uh, the crew here, they're always driving around in the uh, golf carts, uh, keep an eye on things. And... Uh, but it's real pretty. I mean, I had tons of people here yesterday during the day. Uh, even last night, when I went looking for the trash, um, the restaurant over there was just slam packed. Of course, we are back in the south. Catfish is quite popular. Not to me, but to 
to most people here. So. Yeah, there they go. I guess they didn't want to uh, share the picnic table with me. So, it's not too bad for an RV park. You don't see things like this in most of them. Another pretty Tennessee morning. There's the parking lot. That thing was full, jam-packed last night, and this was like 9 o'clock. And there's the rig. So, yeah, overall, it's pretty good, especially for the price. I mean, you know, 25 is not too bad. So, anyway, until later. Yeah, I almost missed this. This is another part of the park. It's right in the middle. This seems kind of a horseshoe shape. And uh, just this big open area. Some picnic tables and things. Oh. Yeah, not bad. And we're, we're down there on the left a little bit. Okay, here's a different view of the lake came on down to the shoreline over on the right side and you'll see tons of birds down here in the morning uh, vultures from what I could see and uh, consequently you see what's on the benches and the picnic tables I think I'll steer clear of those um, that's the store and office. You can buy a lot of uh, fishing equipment up there and everything. And uh, back behind that is the restaurant, which is gets rave reviews from what I gather. I'm just not a big catfish fan. So, pretty cool little place. Pretty cool.